Wait. Hold on. Where's the f***ing tape? Oh my god. What is this? I don't- I don't own this. Why is he here? And no, I'm not wearing real big girl pants. What do you think this is? Professionalism? <laughs> Hi. E. Hi. That was a weird way to start off. If you're new here, my name is E. As in like, eagle. And <laughs> welcome to my channel. How are you doing? That's great. What are we doing today in my new bare room? We're doing another Genshin Impact tier list. I've already done one before. Last time we ranked Genshin Impact characters based on if I can absolutely take their soul, crush it in my bare hands, and eat it for breakfast in the morning. So if you want to watch that video, click on either of those icons. I don't know where it is. Click on that corner. Ida, tell them which corner to click on. <laughs> so today, for this video, I want it to be a very fast and furious kind of Vin Diesel moment. This time, we're gonna keep with the crime aspect, and we're ranking Genshin Impact characters based on what they would steal from a retail store and how they would go about it. Category is theft. So I'm gonna go through the categories real fast, and then I'm not gonna explain it, because they're self-explanatory. So the first category is they stole something valuable. That's it. Second category is they stole something useless or completely by accident. Third category is they work at the store, but they don't get paid enough to give a shit, right? Minimum wage, minimum effort. Second to last one is they get caught and no matter what they're stealing, they're going to jail. Life sentence, baby. And the last one is they are the mall cop. Those are all the categories. Do you have any questions? Good. Ida, do you have anything to say before we begin? Thank you. So going in first, as always, with Mr. Albedo himself. When I film this, it is September 12th, so it is his birthday. <laughs> Albedo works at the store, but doesn't get paid enough to care about someone stealing something in front of him. He's working at the 7-Eleven. This is just his survival job. He's working on his notes in the back. He's like Nicki Minaj, when Nicki Minaj was in the back writing down like verses and bars, as opposed to, you know, being a waitress. So Albedo's like the Nicki Minaj of Genshin Impact. Bro People should never laugh! So Alloy, I don't care. So since I don't care, I think she stole something by accident because she's there in the game by accident. Amber's the mall cop, absolutely. Very Paul Blart. Amber is the Paul Blart of the Kenshin Cinematic Universe. Amber would show up to her duty like, outright Amber, reporting for duty. And everybody else is gonna be like, girl, this is a Claire's. I'm gonna need you to pipe it down. So Ayaka definitely stole something by accident. She's really composed and it was nothing that big of a deal. This actually happened to me. So this is very much what I think Ayaka would do. I went to Claire's once when I was a kid and I tried on the cat ears headband thing. Don't call me a furry. I don't appreciate it. And I walked out of the store with my whole chest wearing the headband still on my head. And I ran back and gave it back to the store because I was scared of going to federal prison. That's what Ayaka would do. Barbara? Barbara stole something valuable. I know she's a child of God, but we all stray from the path of God's light sooner or later. She'd go to Macy's and she'd steal some perfume because she can. Beto's a pirate? So she's absolutely stealing something valuable, but she can do it because she's a lesbian. She's allowed to steal whatever she wants. Isn't that right, Ida? <laughs> Bennett? Yeah, we already know where he's going. Well, Bennett is getting quat, but with a little asterisk next to him because he didn't mean to be. He didn't even know he was stealing something in the first place. Bennett did an Ocean's 8 without even knowing. Ocean's 11, Ocean's 13, he did them all. Every single ocean. He walked into Buckingham Palace, not to be a little too on the nose right now, and came out of it with the queen's jewel tucked away in his little knapsack, and now he's going to federal prison for life. He's gonna rot in jail. <laughs> Oh my god, Bennett, no! Changyun stole something by accident because he ate something too spicy that day. So he stole something useless and also kind of by accident at the same time because he just wasn't himself. This isn't you, Changyun, please eat some ice. Diluc is the mall cop, absolutely, more than Amber. Diluc takes his job way too seriously. He's up in the 7-Eleven eyeing you as you walk a little too closely to the Lay's chips. You just to learn that sometimes it's okay to steal from corporations. Uh, don't quote me on that. I know it's time for for retribution, it's time for theft. 
Diona definitely steals something valuable, but only to ruin Diluc's life or ruin the wine industry's life. She will steal the secret wine version of the Krabby Patty formula and she will sell it on the black market just to ruin the alcohol industry. And I love that for her. Eula is also the mall cop. She's not like a fun mall cop. She doesn't have the segue. She's just got hardened values and cold death stares. Yanfei is also the cop. We've got so many cops in Genshin. Let us have some fun. Let us break the law. It's so boring. Just steal something. God damn it. And I can feel a lot of people who know exactly who they are. Fischl, Fischl works at the store, but doesn't get paid enough to care either. Fischl works at Hot Topic, changed my mind. It's not like she doesn't care. She's too busy off in her own little world. She doesn't care that you're, you're doing a buy one, take all of the graphic tees in the anime section. She is too busy dancing in the corner, giving her life and her soul to a Green Day song. Ganyu, Ganyu stole something by accident. Ganyu would go into a dressing room, try on some jeans, forget that she tried on the jeans and just like walk out. And then she'd be sitting at home in her new jeans. She'd be like, oh. <gasps> Goru is also the mall cop. Except this mall cop growls and barks. <laughs> Hu Tao stole something valuable, just for the kick of it. She doesn't need to. She just wanted to. My girl's up in Best Buy, stealing a whole 5K TV, and then just ran out howling and cackling. Thou mumbling and cackling? Seeing how many security guards can like chase her down to the parking lot. Just for the rush of it. Ito gets caught. Ito also gets sent into maximum security prison for accidentally stealing something very valuable. Either by accident or as a prank, because he thought it would be funny. Uh, it's not funny. You're in jail. Kaya stole something valuable. He stole my heart. <laughs> Kaya stole something valuable. Very much Sandra Bullock in Ocean's 8. Very much George Clooney in Ocean's 24. I don't really care. He has a whole heist team. He is the leader of it. Him and Rosaria and Venti all got together and was just like, we're gonna steal all of D Luke's shit. We're gonna break into his house sopping wet and just steal all of his shit. Kazuha, I think Kazuha works at the store but doesn't get paid enough to care. I mean, he was a canon criminal for a hot second there. I'm thinking he works at the store but he doesn't care because he's too high to really understand what's going on around him. Kaching is the ma cop. Again, overworked, takes her job too seriously, follows the rules, no fun. Klee stole something valuable and then she blew it up afterwards. <laughs> she was in Gucci. Klee saw the purse that Jean wanted that Jean was like, oh, I can't afford. And Klee took the purse, ran out and then blew up the place behind her. There's no evidence to know that the purse was missing. And then she gave it to Jean. Gokumi, um, because she is a master strategist, I kind of want to say that she stole something valuable, but also I think her morals are too sound to actually ever be caught breaking the law. This is hard. I want Kokomi to steal. I want Kokomi to steal. Her brain needs to be put to good use, which is crime. Lisa also stole something valuable on purpose. She's part of the team. Mona works at the store, but doesn't get paid enough to care. She literally is the embodiment of minimum wage, minimum effort. Ningguang? Ningguang's too cool to be the mall cops. I'm also gonna say she stole something valuable, but I think it was like a means to an end. I think Ningguang stole something valuable because because she could and also because it would look pretty on her than anybody else babe i mean noel definitely steals something by accident and panics maybe she forgot to pay the bill at the restaurant it was just a long day so she runs back and offers to do the dishes for a week because she feels so bad jean is the mall cop but like the fun one jean would be like oh don't go stealing that tesla out of the showroom in the middle of the mall don't do that again chi chi i don't care I don't think she cares either. I think she's she's programmed to do one thing and one thing only, and that's to ring up the prescription and give you your dang drugs. So, Razor? I think he stole something by accident. He didn't mean to. I don't think he understood the values of commerce and trade, so he just kind of like went into a bodega and then just stole a sandwich and walked away. And they were like, um, money? And you'd like give him a high five or give him some like wolf hook berries and he'd be like, Buy yourself something pretty. And they're gonna be like, sir, these are these are berries. Rosaria, I've already mentioned it before, the heist squad. Kujosara. It's <sighs> no fun. Why can't we just steal? Hmm? Why do we have to have like honor and a sense of morals? Sayu, Sayu would get caught. She forgot she was tasked with stealing like very classified, very high confidential papers. And she'd be strolling out of the compound and like take a quick 15 and then she'd wake up. <laughs> in jail. Shenha, I think she works at the store but doesn't get paid enough to care. Shenha doesn't even want to be there in the first place, so I doubt she cares if you steal. It's not like she's it's coming out of her paycheck. She'd be like, do you need help? You guys need a bag? Raiden also works at the store but doesn't care. I mean, she meditated for the past 500 years while her civilization was just 
miserable. So I don't think she's the most attentive of clerks. Okay, no, I'm talking about A right now. If I was talking about the Raiden Shogun, definitely Maka. Sucrose gets quat. For sure, she also stole something by accident. The cops were like, ma'am, you can't, you can't just be taken. She was like, oh, I'm just so sleep deprived. I kind of forgot that was a thing. Child steals something valuable. I'm also gonna add him to the squad. I think you just do it just for the kick of it, just for the excitement. He doesn't actually need anything. Pantalone's got him covered with money, but I think just for the sick thrill of it, he'd be like, consider me in, girls. Toma is the mall cop. <laughs> Only on the basis that Toma is too sweet. Though in my last video, if you remember, I hypothesized that Toma is actually a psychopath, but that doesn't involve with theft. That just is involved with the taking of someone's life. Venti, you know what it is. You know what it is? I mean, Venti canonically tried to steal his own sh like the holy liar. Venti's got this down packed. So the squad, we're gonna go to D. Luke's, and then we're going to Liyue. We're gonna steal all of Zhang Li's two items that belong to his name. Steal all of his tea. Just really piss the old man off. Zhang Li also works at the store, but doesn't get paid enough to care. Only in the context that she's working at a restaurant. Only at the restaurant because she just wants to cook for people and that she doesn't really care about if she actually rings them up correctly. Xiao, Xiao also works at Hot Topic and he is too emo to care. He's got his headphones in, he's listening to Green Day. I know he's very pugnacious. I'm looking for a fight, he can't even hear you. And if he hears some racket going on, stealing the band t-shirts in the back, he's just gonna put his volume up on his phone. Xingqiu definitely stole something valuable only because he wanted, not because he needs it, because God knows he doesn't, he's so rich. But he does it because he wants to feel like a character from his book. But he'll steal something from like an adversary or someone who actually kind of deserves to be stolen from, just so he can like feel okay about it, but he's definitely stealing something tonight. Xinyan um, stole something by accident, went back to pay for it a week later when she realized she took it. Very sweet. Yeah, Miko also stole something valuable. My heart. She just, oh my god, it'd be so funny if she just stole something from Ayato. Just to piss him off. Yoimiya definitely stole something by accident. She's too sweet. I feel like if she actually ever stole something on purpose, it was for a friend because her friend needed something and she needed to get it back for them. Yeonjin, she stole something by accident. She's having a little row with her friend, with Shinyan. They went out and they accidentally stole something together and they didn't realize it. Zhongli stole something valuable. He's going to the front of this god dang tier. This is camp. I would not be surprised if Hu Tao canonically broke him out of jail for just committing like an unholy amount of tax fraud, just unknowingly, just stealing from everybody collectively. That is canon. Ayato, I think he's too cheeky to not steal something. No. <sighs> Listen. I don't know. I literally don't know. Final answer is he works at the store but doesn't get paid enough to care. Okay, so Kuki, next, definitely the mall cop. She's so well-versed in all tricks and trades. She is the glue that holds the Arataki gang together. She tells them, stop. What you're about to commit is a crime. Please stop. Yelan stole something valuable, but very much stole something from an opposing team, from an enemy. We already know that she stole like Pantalone's coat once. Pantalone got or bought a coat for the Tsaritsa and Yelan just stole it straight up and added it to her coat thing, like the fur to like her coat. Yelan is a thief and a spy and a scoundrel. And I love that for her so much. Hezo is the mall cop. Again, I mean, he's literally a detective. He's literally a cop. Kale uh, stole something useless or by accident. It was very sweet and all the guards were like, we're sorry that you felt like you had to apologize to us. Dory stole something valuable. She stole your livers. <laughs> and she's selling them on the black market right now as we speak. Traveler, Aether. Aether works at the store but doesn't get paid enough to care. He's kind of quiet. I think if he was getting paid like a lot of money, maybe he'd be like, oh, stop. But Lu Main, on the other hand, she's with the squads. Maybe I'm self-projecting onto her and I want her to be a thieving goblin because I want to too and I'm living vicariously through Lu Main. Don't psychoanalyze me, okay? I don't appreciate it. Tugnari? Oh, I don't want him to be a mall cop. I don't. I'm gonna say he works at the store because he doesn't get paid enough to care. I think he's also like Albedo. He's also doing experiments behind the counter. He's also writing down about his little flowers in his book. I don't think he cares that you're stealing a whole jug of 7-Eleven right out of the fridge. <laughs> 
okay so for the next few characters i don't really know their personalities like a hundred and ten thousand percent because we haven't fully been announced to them yet as when i film this candace i don't know how to actually officially pronounce her name but it's written out as candace not Svenja. um <clears throat> i'm also gonna say she works at the store but doesn't get paid enough to care she works at forever 21 she's too busy being beautiful and stunning to really care about what you're doing so i know he stole something by accident he didn't realize it and as he was like leaving you know cuff in hand he'd, he'd say like a dad joke real fast and then the cops were like oh my god put a gag on this guy nilo she also stole something by accident because she seems very sweet and very uh, good intention so that is the tier list for thievery villainy and characters just being goblins up to no good in a very fun crime way i do not endorse any crimes obviously this is just for fun I hope you had fun this was really this is really fun for me I love heist stories so I thought it would be fun to combine my love of heist movies with my love of Genshin to see like how they would intertwine so thank you so much for watching thank you so much for watching it till the end make sure you please give this video a like and subscribe it helps me more than you know I make Genshin Impact and anime videos on my channel sometimes they're recap sometimes their tier lists in the future I want to do some silly challenges and more silly content with some of my favorite things so make sure to stick around I post a video every Friday and or Saturday comment down below if you disagree with anything that I said where you think Ayato should go because I literally can't figure out where Ayato should go let me know where you think you belong in the list and if you make a tier list yourself link me to it follow me on my socials if you so choose I will We'll see you in the next video, hopefully. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs>